In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to make a beautiful cinemagraph using video footage you've taken. A cinemagraph is created by combining a video clip with a still image to create a unique animated photo. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. I have Video Studio opened up under the Edit tab. The first thing I'm going to do is import the media clip that I'm going to work with for this project. It's important to choose a video clip that you've shot using a tripod in order to get the best results. Now I'm going to drag this video clip onto the video track on my timeline. In this project, I am using a video of a milk bottle pouring milk into a teacup. I want to make the bottle stationary as the milk pours out and fills the cup. So first I need to drag the playhead to the point on the clip where I want to take a snapshot of the bottle in a still pouring position. Then I'll go to Edit and select Take a Snapshot. The snapshot of this still image is now saved in our library. Now I'll drag the snapshot onto the overlay track on the timeline. We'll need to resize the overlay to full screen to match the dimensions of the video on the video track. We can do that by right-clicking on the video clip on the timeline and selecting Copy Attributes. Then right-click on the overlay and select Paste All Attributes. Now scroll your mouse to the edge of the snapshot until the arrow pops up and click and drag to the right to resize the snapshot until it matches the length of the video clip. And now we're ready to create our mask. Make sure to select the overlay on the timeline and then click on the Mask Creator icon. From here we need to use one of the masking tools to brush over the area of the video where we want to show movement. In this case, I want to show the stream of milk being poured into the mug and also the mug filling up. So I'm going to brush the mug using the mask brush. I can also adjust the brush size to make a more precise selection and brush some of the milk pouring out so the milk will appear to be flowing. Now select Invert Mask and press OK. And now if we preview this video, you'll see how the milk pours into the mug from the stationary bottle, giving the video a really cool look and feel. You can experiment with the masking tools to create different effects within the same video. For example, I could take this same video and image snapshot and this time make the mug stationary so that it looks like the milk is endlessly pouring and never filling up the mug. I'll go to the mask creator and again use the brush tool to brush over the mug. But this time I won't select invert mask and I'll keep it as mask. Then click OK. And now, if you preview this video, you'll see the milk jug keeps pouring milk into the mug without ever filling it. To finalize your cinemagraph, you may want to make it loop continuously or make it longer. Let's say I want to do this with my first clip of the milk being poured into the cup. You may choose to play the entire video on loop or choose a specific section to loop. For this clip, I want to play a loop of just the first few seconds. First, I'll split the video track into a section that I want to play on loop. I'll do this by dragging my playhead to where I want to split the video clip and click the scissors icon under the preview pane. Then I'll delete the other portion by clicking on it and pressing the delete key on my keyboard. Now I'll right click on the video clip and click copy and then click once on my mouse beside the video clip to paste it next to it. I can repeat this same process for as long as I want to run my loop for. Finally, we need to resize the snapshot to match the length of the video clips. We'll do that by clicking on the snapshot on the timeline and hovering our mouse at the edge of the clip until the arrow icon pops up. Then click and drag the snapshot until it matches the length of the clip. Now if we press preview, you'll see the cinemagraph repeats on loop. You can have fun experimenting with these tools in different ways to create unique cinemagraphs to add eye-catching elements to your website or social media page, or to share with your friends and family. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. 
Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Video Studio.